Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Today it's going to be a quick video um, where we talk about process, and this is something that I haven't done a lot of videos on before, so I'm a little bit self-conscious and have some feelings of inadequacy right now, but I'm going to believe that, that what we're going to go over is going to be useful and beneficial. I think it is super cool and something that I've wanted to be able to do for a long time. If you get this, it can massively speed up and increase how fun it is for you to work drawing on your tablet. So pay close attention. This is going to get really cool really fast. Okay, so here's what we're doing, and this is the part I really want you to get. We're going to be switching between two colors, which is our foreground and background colors. We're going to be toggling on the eraser and off the eraser. And we're going to be switching between brush, which is our blending tool, and airbrush, which is our non-blending tool. So I'm going to show you how that process works. All right, so part of me wants to do this really fast, and we're actually going to go through it really slowly. Well, moderately slowly. All right, so I'm going to select a color, and we're going to bring the brush size down. I'm going to go here, and this is how you're going to be able to toggle between adding and cutting away inside of shapes. So say we just want to go right here, and then we're going to cut. And so it's really easy, really easy. You just hold down the eraser button, uh, which is, I believe, T on the keyboard shortcut. And you can add and subtract color. Very simple. All right, let's just go ahead and remove that. Now let's talk about toggling between colors. So here, you can't see anything. You can see a little light something. We're going to pick a lighter color. And here, this is going to allow us to toggle in between foreground and background colors. Now you can do that by just holding it down too. So I can draw and hold it down. And when I release, it's going to go right back to the other one. And this setting and these other settings are here inside of options. This is enable shift behavior for selecting of tools, switching of current color, and some other functions. And part of the reason why I think Paint Tool Sci is so awesome. All right, so the other thing here that I'm going to demonstrate is switching between tools. So I'm switching between the airbrush and the brush. You can see my settings here on both of these. The brush is for color blending. So I'm going to demonstrate that first. You can see I can blend and then tap. And this is my airbrush, which is not blending. So I can do, like if I were to do a shape here, and let's go ahead and blend in some color. All right, now I want to make this pop out a little bit more, so I'm going to just hold down the airbrush. Actually, I'm going to bring the size down a little bit first. Airbrush held down. And we're going to add here. And then we're going to blend. That's a little bit smoother. And then we're going to toggle to the darker color. And you can just see how quickly you can cut in and make these changes using these tools. So I love this. I think it is such a nice, such a nice process. Um, and I know that other artists who are watching this, you can see it's a big deal. So highly recommend taking the time to learn Paintful Sci. This is version two. I'll put the link in the description. And then what you guys, um, want to realize a uh, Paint Tool Sci version two and Clip Studio have the same toggle functionality. If you've never used it, it'll take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, but it's a lot faster than, than um, all those extra steps that you have to take in order to switch between colors and erasing and tools and other programs. First, I'm going to show you how to just paint on the, on the pixels that are already on the screen. So what that means, and I will just demonstrate, we're going to make a new layer and we're going to use it as a clipping group. So right here, let's go ahead, we're going to select this one. Uh, we'll keep that one selected. So now if I draw, you can see it only goes on top of what's already there. This is really cool. 
because anytime that you're shading around the outside, uh, let's say I want to do something darker and just just around the outside, and I don't want to have to come back in here and cut out uh, everything again around the, the side, I can really quickly just add some really nice shadows and highlights this way. Um, obviously, you can change the uh, mode from normal to uh, shade or shine or dodge or burn, uh, all these things that you guys are already familiar with. So really cool. Keep this in mind. Uh, clipping group. Create a new layer, clipping group. If you put it up, it's going to go on top of the ones underneath. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video or you have questions or you want me to do more process videos, this is not so much about the art, obviously, as it is just about understanding how to use the programs. All right, uh, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.